All right, how's it going, guys? So I'm heading back downtown. Uh, that wide apartment right there is where I live. You can actually go all the way inside. And uh, there's three of them there. And I live on the one downstairs. So we can see um, there's a bus right here. These are actually some of the buses that take people to work who work at the famous uh, maquiladoras or as they're known in English, factories. But uh, I'm gonna show you the walk I take every day to, um, to go take the bus. You actually have to, I have to walk up this hill every day and it's pretty tiring. But, you know, I'm getting a good leg workout. Also, the uh, uh, the sun is really, really making things a little bit worse. It's not too hot right now, but but it's definitely going to get hotter later on. There's a little local store I usually go go to and buy some eggs and things like that. It's a pretty nice walk uphill here, guys. So it's currently 1.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go try and catch some breakfast. Check that view out there, guys. So this is a, this is an area or a municipality, I suppose, here in Chihuahua, where I'm currently renting. And it's called Lealtad Dos. Loyalty Two is the name of this municipality. Again, Chihuahua is a pretty well-developed city. I think it has the best uh, internet infrastructure out of all the states in Mexico. It has a population that is very studied, uh, a high socially developed index, According to statistics, so it's a pretty modern city. Probably not, you know, right behind the capital, Mexico City, and Monterrey. Um, but it's definitely one of the better cities of Mexico. It's pretty well developed, and. You know, it has a lot of history to it. During the revolution, a lot of men came to the state. Uh, Pancho Villa, President Benito Juarez. A lot of things took place here. And as I mentioned in another video, it's also the biggest state in Mexico. I've been here before about three to four years ago. Then I went back to my home state of Sonora. And then I just came back about a month and a half ago. And luckily I found this apartment in this area. And check out that giant, that giant uh, hill up there, guys. That would be cool to climb, huh? It's pretty cool, pretty close. So we just came up that, that street, and right across the street here is where I usually take the bus to go downtown. Now they charge about half a dollar, so, so it's not too expensive. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna cut it off there. Pretty tired from that walk. 
But I'm going to give you one last shot here of this area over here. Of this county, I suppose. Pretty awesome scenery, right? I love those hills. I'd love to go and climb those, those mountains over there. All right, I'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, guys, so I'm still waiting for the bus. Up oh, there it comes, actually. Did take a little bit, uh, they actually take a little bit longer on Sundays. Um, yeah, it's always, the wait is always longer on Sundays. Usually you can wait up to 30 minutes, sometimes even up to an hour. I think there's less buses uh, traveling the routes. Um, fortunately, this one that I take is uh, called the 2nd of October, and usually they have a lot of these uh, buses on route, so looks like there's one coming now. I'm going to get on it, and then I'll see you on the next clip where I should be downtown. Hopefully I make it in time for breakfast to a little place I like to go to. See you there. All right, guys, I just got off of the bus. And I'm making my way to the little restaurant where I usually like to have some eggs with some chilaquiles. They're sort of like enchiladas, but uh, cut into pieces. And then you mix them with the sunny side e eggs with some beans on the side. Pretty nutritious and good stuff. Now this is actually another very historic building right here, guys. So you can see here. This was actually the house of Benito Juarez. Yes, the president of Mexico, who was a contemporary of Abraham Lincoln, ended up having to flee over to, to Chihuahua State, and for a while this was actually the capital of Mexico. Now I'll go through all these historic buildings as I make more videos on the channel. Right now, just to start things off, I kind of just want to walk around so you can get a feel for for downtown. But right now, it's about to be 12 p.m., so I just want to make sure I can uh, get breakfast at that place. Because usually they start, you know, they end breakfast at a certain hour and then they start serving other food, like in most restaurants. But I think they should still be serving uh, huevos montados, as they call them. Hopefully that yesterday on the first video I made, I got a, I guess like the music registered when YouTube was processing the video. So I had to cut, cut like 30 seconds off of the video. And a lot of the times there's always music playing downtown. So now I understand why YouTube vloggers are always careful with that, with the copyrights. Luckily, they YouTube analyzes the video and they let you know what, like what specific part has the music, and they give you the option to cut it off. Oh my gosh, it smelled like sewer right there. I think I stepped on like sewage water or something. Oh yes, the shade. 
so hot out right now, guys. This, is, this isn't even as hot as it gets either. It's like 26 degrees <coughs> Celsius. And in summer, it can get up to like 40 degrees. So there's downtown center, guys. If you haven't seen my first video, I recommend you go watch it. Just right up ahead right there at the, uh, at the traffic lights. To the right is that restaurant. Should be open even though it's Sunday. I think most places actually close early on Sundays. Are you looking for some pants for your girlfriend? Or some dresses maybe? Here we are, guys. Here we are. All right, I'm going to cut the video, guys. I'm going to order food. All right, guys. So I just got done eating a delicious breakfast. There's a lot of people there. So, again, I'm just starting the video. So, as I make more, uh, more videos. I will be uploading, you know, food and things like that around, so make sure you give this video a like so I can know that you guys are enjoying them. Here's the cathedral. It is Sunday, so I believe there is service. And here are our lovely friends, the pigeons. Beautiful creatures. You can see a lot of the male pigeons will actually inflate or puff their chest as they try and uh, conquer a female and mate for a life, much like human beings do. But anyways, it's Sunday, guys, so it's going to be packed. Around the same time yesterday, it wasn't this packed, but a lot of people have their day off on Sunday, just like Saturday, but more often Sunday so it's it's going to be packed all day here the Sun is at its full strength no clouds so there's kids all day here playing with the fountain honestly I feel like going into the water there guys another look at the cathedral Oh, yeah, it's refreshing. That feels so good, guys. <coughs> Let's take a look at the shops, huh? Some acne products there. People enjoying the shade. Here's some wallets. Purses, some belts, some cool looking ponchos, dresses, Eastern style dresses, or Mexican also. There's some alcoholic drinks mixed in with, uh, I'm not sure what, but yeah, it looks like it's alcohol mixed in with, you know, some. Some sort of natural sweeteners. 
and they're building a platform there guys so it looks like there's going to be some sort of uh, presentation today we just had a spill over here a lot of uh, what they call bolis it's just an ice cream flavored ice And look at this, guys. We have some lovely dogs here right at the center of Chihuahua Plaza. Looks like they're dead, but they're actually just resting. And take a look at this, guys. The famous Chihuahua painting right here at the center of Chihuahua. Pretty awesome, huh? Anyways, let's go ahead and take a little stroll down the street here and take a look at the people. A lot of cool little uh, rag dolls here, guys. Look at that. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tiene esto? Diga? ¿Miel? ¿Miel? Ah, nomás con vino. Vino. Órale. Es el, el original, el que tomaban ellos. Ah, fíjese. ¿Y en cuánto lo tiene? 300. ¿300? Muy sabroso, ¿eh? Sí, ok. Bueno, aquí voy a andar toda la tarde, déjenle. De hecho, la vuelta. Gracias. Look at this, guys. So, yes, looks like that man was saying that uh, he had Viking wine, some sort of wine mixed in with, uh, with honey. He said that's what the original Vikings drank. Uh, and he said the price for that was 300 pesos. So, Very interesting. Viking wine. Look at these mineral trees they, they make over here, guys. Lots of bracelets. These are actually all handcrafted by the indigenous peoples here. And we have some uh, handmade bags here, guys, with uh, looks like cow skin huh pretty awesome pretty awesome Back at the book area here. Lots of books. Got these cool bracelets, guys. Very beautiful, huh? Let me know which one you'd like. We have more over here also. 
Smells like incense. And we have these stores on the side that are, all, that are always here, guys. But uh, what's of interest right now for these couple of days are all these little shops here that were that were uh, erected for these couple of days. Some watches here. Getting pretty hot. So let me know how you're enjoying Chihuahua, guys. Is it what you would expect to see here in Mexico? I think it's, uh, you know, it's pretty similar to any state you would see uh, out in, uh, out in the States. Of course, uh, might not be as developed as some of the more developed, uh, you know, states in in the U.S., but it's pretty close. You know, there's some pretty rural areas in the U.S. or states. So, oh gosh, I'm sure that's going to get copyrighted. It's one of the bad things about walking around downtown that they have all of this copyrighted music playing. So. If that gets cut off, then oh well. All right, guys, I'm going back to the center. Gonna go grab some shade, so I'll see you on the next clip. All right, guys, so this is where I went through yesterday, but check out this gorilla here, huh? Pretty cool, guys. Like it says it's made out of bronze and it's titled Alter Ego. Pretty awesome there. Awesome gorilla. We have some uh, angel wings here that people like posing. Posing with. There's the Angel Plaza once again. All right, and before I finish up, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go across to the Angel Plaza and I'm gonna show you some of the murals out here. They're pretty cool. Most of them depict uh, some of the history of Mexico and Chihuahua. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at those. So here we are guys, near the Angel Plaza. Of course we have another Chihuahua sign just like right in the center. And we have these pretty cool bronze murals here. Pretty beautiful art depicting some of the history of Mexico. Look at this one, guys. I actually hadn't seen any of these, but uh, this is pretty awesome. I don't see any writing here explaining any of the what the murals are. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just some of the history. As you can see here, 
Uh, this is some of the indigenous history of Mexico. You can see the indigenous peoples there dancing. Look at this guy here, huh? Looking pretty powerful. I think these might be the uh, Tarumara indigenous people. Not quite sure which uh, which tribe or indigenous people they are. You can see here a father and a son looking like they're pointing at the sun, possibly. And we see them uh, chasing the buffalo. Pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so there's multi there's a lot of plazas around here. Looks like this one is called Plaza Grandeza de Chihuahua. So let's go ahead and take another look at this side of the mural. We have some more indigenous depictions here. Some kids running up there. If we look here, it looks like we have a husband and a wife, possibly. He looks like he's more clothed than the other ones on the other side, so... At this point, uh... Could have been the Spanish influence here. Some sort of shaman or priest for the indigenous religion. We see a child here playing with, a, it looks like a parrot. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one. Wow, look at this one, guys. This is pretty incredible. Can you imagine the work that actually went into this one? This one is actually popping out of the mural. Looks like uh, figures from the revolutionary era. Very awesome. Now I do know who this guy is. That is the famous Pancho Villa, a very famous uh, revolutionary here in Mexico. Sorry, let's get a good angle on that. I believe that might have been one of the uh, presidents at the time. But yeah, Pancho Villa was a wild man, guys, and he ended up actually being assassinated here in the state of Chihuahua. Not here in the capital, but uh, in the municipality of Parral, Chihuahua. And you can actually see here, this is the same man, Pancho Villa, but when he was assassinated. So, looks like it was an ambush, and I think he was actually killed by the men that were with him in the vehicle. Yeah, so this is a... Uh, yeah, it says here this is a mural of Pancho Villa. The boss of the north. He was a... Uh, yeah, he, he, was a, he was a leader in the revolutionary era. So again, a lot of history here in Chihuahua. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and take a look at these other murals over here. So some more depictions of the indigenous population here, guys. Oh, now this is going back to the founding of Mexico. So this is was considered the founding father of the nation, Miguel Hidalgo. He's the one that gave the famous uh, Grito de Dolores, which is literally translated the cry of pains. And those pains were the pains that the population was suffering under the yoke of the Spanish Empire. And so he was the first to make that call for independence. And of course, at the time, the Spanish Empire uh, was Catholic, which is pretty ironic because uh, Miguel Hidalgo was actually a Catholic priest. But because of his cries for independence, he was actually condemned by the state and by the Catholic Church, who oddly enough now venerates him. But you can see here um, that 
This is when he was executed by the firing squad and uh, before they actually killed him, he famously pointed to his heart, telling the men where to hit him. So pretty incredible stuff. And as you can see here, guys, uh, at that time, he actually carried a banner of the Virgin Mary, a, uh, you know, very symbolic of the Catholic Church. And that's actually the building, guys, where he was executed. Well, not the building, but that's the location right there. So he was actually executed here in the state of Chihuahua. So like I said, a lot of history here in this state. And we have another mural over here, guys, depicting, looks like uh, when the Spaniards arrived here and their fightings with the indigenous people. Uh, we can see the indigenous people here laboring, working, the Spanish influence of religion, of course. Very cool. So let's keep going around. We actually have some more murals over here that uh, I do want to show you before I head back home guys it is Sunday I do love coming downtown and sort of just uh, you know relaxing down here but you know I can't stay here all day it does get pretty tiring after a while you know sometimes you just want to chill inside the house look at this more murals here oh so this was actually when uh, the Constitution was founded for Mexico you can see here the year is 1824 it says right there Constitución Federal de los Estados Unidos Mexicanos the federal constitution of the United Mexican States have some of the political figures who wrote the document and it uh, looks like we have some of the revolutionaries and also some of the indigenous people there's the Mexican flag of course there is the entirety of Mexico the United States on top another major uh, historical um, figure here of the founding of Mexico uh, this man right here let's see if I can remember his name yeah Jose Maria Morelos I believe and he's also considered uh, he's pretty much the continuation of Miguel Hidalgo right so he carried on the fight for the independence of Mexico Another mural here. Okay, so this is actually Benito Juarez, guys. Again, this was the uh, president uh, who was a contemporary of Abraham Lincoln. And there was a lot of turmoil during his presidency, but uh, he is considered one of the best, if not uh, the best president that Mexico has had. Um, and again, his uh, period, much like Abraham Lincoln, was very tumultuous. And so at one point, he actually ended up having to flee uh, the capital of Mexico, uh, Mexico de Efe. And he flew out here to Chihuahua. And for a while, Chihuahua was actually the capital of Mexico. And as I showed you at the beginning of the video, he actually had his famous uh, you know, palace where he used to live. So pretty awesome there. A lot of murals around here, guys. Let's go ahead and go over here and take a look at this one. There's gotta be about five more murals. More political figures. I believe these men were presidents. Very nice, sharp-looking men here with their mustaches and their suits. That's not a very nice scene. You have a soldier here hitting a, a man and his wife, it looks like. 
pretty cool. All right. Okay, check this out, guys. We have another mural here. Um, it looks like it's just depicting some of the culture of Mexico. You can see we have some ladies here working at some sort of factory. We have a family up here making some delicious carne asada, some barbecue there. Looks like they got some uh, steak on there, some sausage, some tortillas, old school vehicle. We have a man out here using uh, some technology now to milk the cows. We have a semi truck here, probably carrying petroleum. The airplane, a satellite right up there. So this is sort of depicting the advancement of Mexican society. Of course, you still have the Catholic religion, which is the major uh, denomination here in Mexico. And you have some sort of a painter there uh, painting the Virgin Mary and I think these are some of the uh, uh, some popular figures in Mexico. I can't really identify most of these. Um, that looks like it, that is the artist uh, Juan Gabriel. So that is a he was an artist, a singer who I believe passed away. Now I could be wrong, but definitely looks like him. And if we go to this side now, this gets a. Uh, you know, this this side is interesting here. It's pretty much looks like it's depicting modern society here. A lot of symbolism. You can see there's a cowboy right there. You have some cows by some trees. A uh, naked woman out there. I'm not sure what that is representing. We have some coal miners here. A family up there enjoying some sort of balloons. We actually have a depiction of a pilot up here. Oh, now this is very interesting, guys. This is easy to identify. These are what are known as the uh, Mennonite community or the Mennonitas. So these are, um, I think these are descendants of German people. They're very well known here uh, in Chihuahua and they're very famous for making, uh, you know, a popular cheese, which is called queso Mennonita, Mennonite cheese which is very delicious and you know they've made a good li living usually they live in certain areas and uh, they're very easy to identify whenever they come into town because you know they all look like German right blue eyes light colored skin and so we have a woman here very uh, very interesting depiction there we also have a DNA strand there so Pretty crazy stuff. Looks like that's sort of symbolizing science. We have the symbol of the atom, molecules, some guy using a microscope. Oh, so this is a, a 3D printer. Yeah, so it looks like this mural is sort of depicting, uh, you know, modern day advancements. Look at this, guys. So they actually have USB uh, USB cores here on this 3D printer. So yeah, that's a look at the murals here near the Plaza del Angel, guys. Let me know what you think. Pretty, pretty awesome work, if you ask me. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for tuning in, guys, to Alexis the Nomad. Please make sure you give the video a like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share. Help me to grow this channel. I will be uploading more videos. Have a wonderful day from Mexico. Adios.